But let me tell you something. It's all about opportunity. I grew up in a, a home in a little town where we didn't have water in our house. We, so we went to the river and carried it on our heads and brought the water home. We didn't have electricity. So we used a, a kerosene lamp at night. We would light a lamp and put in kerosene. It was a simple life. We ate the food that my mother grew in the garden. But my mother was a primary school teacher and she believed in education. So she made sure I went to class. When I came home, she put on the hurricane lamp. She made sure I sat at a table and, she, and did my homework. So that meant I could move from one class to another. And when I came to Europe to study engineering, I found that I knew the same as the English boys and girls in the class because in a humble way, the school had still provided me with all the basic lessons and I had taken them. But it all started with opportunity at home created for me by a mother who had also been empowered by education. Well, let me tell you, I don't like it. And let me tell you a second thing, that if my mother had seen my picture being put on a screen, carrying the pot of water I would carry from the river as a way to make people respond to poverty, she would have protested. She would not have accepted. So in other words, no poor person likes that situation. It is a life of indignity. And it is not an image. It does not make proud any mother of a child to see their child being the face of poverty. So the image we would give to you as Oxfam would be an image of a woman claiming her right to farm and to get her right reward, to own land and to be a successful entrepreneur. We would never bring you the image of a hungry woman. So it is better to show that people who live in poverty are dignified people, are fighting people, are people with a spirit of entrepreneurship, and project them in a good light, but show that you need to support them. I got the news on Christmas Eve last year, and I thought it was the greatest Christmas present I'd ever got in my life. There was also a tinge of fear. There was joy, but there was a little fear because I thought, what a huge responsibility. And uh, now it's almost a year. It's not yet a year, but we are getting there. And I am enjoying this role very much. I work with very passionate people, and I cross the world working with meeting people working at the grassroots finding real solutions to local problems and then i work with global campaigners very smart passionate men and women who find creative ways to take on the pepsi colors of this world the world bank the governments and holding the fire to their feet to deliver on the rights of people. It's all so exciting, so diverse. What more could I want? When they empower you and you begin to work and get benefit from the work that you got a lot of food, I feel proud that people depending on for me to give them. I feel good, you know, I feel good.